Hello my beautiful babies, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Today's reading is going to be, what is the current gossip on you? So we're going to hop right on into this reading. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope it resonates for you. So let's get right on into it. Make these messages as clear as possible. What is the current gossip on pound number one? What is the current gossip on pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, please universe. What's the current gossip on pound number one? Sheesh, okay. So we have the nine of pentacles. What's the current gossip on pound number one? What's the current gossip on pound number one? Oops. What's the current gossip on pound number one? Um, we have the four of materials. Okay, four of pentacles. What's the current? What? <laughs> What's the current gossip on pound number one? What's the current gossip on pound number one? What is the current gossip on pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, okay? And we have the Knight of Inspiration. So that would be the Knight of Wands. So um, with the Knight, the Nine of Pentacles, we have um, Virgo energy, Four of Pentacles. We have Capricorn energy. So Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy as well. What's the current gossip on pound number one? We have Queen of Inspirations, Queen of Wands. What's the current gossip on pound number one? We have the Hermit. What's the current gossip on Pound Boy? Virgo energy here. What's the current gossip on Pound Boy? And then we have the Seven of Inspirations, which is the Seven of Wands, and that is Leo's energy. All right. And we also have here Eight of Inspirations, which is the Eight of Wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Death card here. So. So. If you have been on my community tab, I have been talking about it. The month of November is always in my head the month of, um, trans it's very transformative, tra very transformative, okay? <laughs> um, and what I mean by that is, um, of course this is not going to be for everybody, but it's going to resonate for who needs it resonates too. Um, I think that the month of November is, it's a lot of death that goes on in the month of November or you get bad news in the month of November. Um, or it's like someone gets really sick in the month of November. I don't know. Like I said, it's a very transformative month for a lot of people and um i just feel like the current gossip on you is we have flowers here so i was sitting here thinking about blossoming i see i'm thinking about things changing i'm feeling like you know you could be a little bit fragile um showing your true colors i'm um, showing people who you really are and i feel like the current gossip on you is you stepping into your individuality you could be newly single it doesn't have to be that it could be the fact that you are um learning how to do things in the like as an individual like going out to eat going to the movies uh um you know you have a bunch of friends but you know take a time with yourself being with yourself and things of that nature um another thing the current gossip on you is you are protecting your energy you're not allowing a lot of people into your energy um some of you may have found a new job or a new um aspiration new inspiration uh, some of you could also be in a space where you are like diving really deep into your creative side. Um, I feel like this, that's the current gossip on you. Like you're diving deep into your creative side or you're trying to find something that something else, you know, you're trying to find something else to do. Um, I feel like you're having fun. Whatever you're doing, the current gossip on you is whatever this new endeavor is, whatever this new business is, whatever this new hobby is, whatever it may be, whatever you're starting to do, this is something that you're going to have a lot of fun with. Okay. Like I said, you could be newly single. So you, you could be stepping out into the dating world or you could be sitting there, um, you know, just finding a new passion for yourself, loving yourself, um, finding a, a new way to protect your energy so you won't allow certain people to be in your energy that doesn't deserve to be in your energy, you know? I feel like you're removing blockages, removing negative energy, removing low vibrational people, re removing people like um, energy vampires, you know? Um, with the Hermit card to the Seven of Inspirations, which is the Seven of um, seven of Wands, I do see that you're setting up um, boundaries, you having healthier boundaries. Like I said, removing people out your life that don't serve you. Um, I feel I feel like you're soul searching right now some of you could have gotten fired or you could be at a job that you just feel like it's a dead-end job or you just feel like you're not going to excel like how you want to excel with this current job so you want to do something different the aid of inspirations is def definitely given all right I'm, i want to do what the fuck i want to do or you have a lot of things coming towards you. You could have a lot of opportunities coming in towards you as well. That's the current gossip on you. Like I said, with the death card being at the bottom of the deck. And we have the high priestess here. This is a beautiful card. Wow. 
This is a very, very beautiful card. That's beautiful. Okay? We have the death card and we have the high priestess here. Nothing that I'm saying is something that's new to you. You already know. And I probably have said this to you in another reading. You probably heard the things that I'm saying in another reading. So this is like more of a extra confirmation. People are talking about how you decide to live your life or how you decide to make money or how um, maybe you quit a job. Uh, maybe you quit a job or you stop doing something sporadically and people's like, damn, like you just started that. Or, damn, like why are you doing it like that? And you're doing it because um, I feel like you're trying to be spontaneous. But the night of inspiration, I, would, I feel like it's more of a card that's about being spontaneous, you know? Um, and some people think that is a bad idea, but you know, at the end of the day, I feel like you really don't care. I feel like you're staying to yourself. That's the current gossip on you, that you're staying to yourself, you're remaining to yourself, whatever you're doing, your next move is going to be your best move. And you know that with the Queen of Wands being here. I feel like everything that you do it has some type of you being strategic about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I do feel like um, whoever picked this pile, let me see this card right here. Ten of emotions, ten of cups. Yeah, you're trying to find your contentment. You're trying to find your happiness. You're trying to find that ten of cups. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's why it's at the back of the deck. I feel like you are in a space where you are ready to change things in your life, change the people around you, change your living environment, change how um blessings comes towards you, or change how um things come towards you in general you know when you change your mindset change the people around you and you realize that some people don't deserve to be in your life that's when all the blessings start coming or that's when fast communication start coming in or that's when you know jobs start calling you back or you know people you sign a contracts and shit like that you know that's the current gossip on you that you're removing things out your life so you can have better come into your life okay let's see what else we have make these messages as clear as possible what's the current gossip on my beautiful pal number ones definitely blossoming changing like i said very fragile though very fragile we have pink and orange you know orange is the color of um like road opening doors opening new beginnings things of that pink is for like love self-love things of that nature make these messages as clear as possible what is the current gossip on my beautiful pound number ones it's the current gossip on pound number one and this is three cards should i take it should i take it let's do it we have good luck this is beautiful too we have good luck, a black cat, love black cats. We have grieving. You see the butterfly there, Trans um, transformations is happening. We also have here love. And I just was talking about self-love, right? You are love, so you will always receive love. We have family. So I can see here that, you know, this is the holiday season for those of you that do celebrate like, um, um, the, um, for me, what is a traditional holiday, which would be Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, maybe Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever the case may be. Um, I feel like the current gossip on you is, um, I feel like good luck is definitely coming towards you. Someone could have passed away in your life and that could have been something that's very transformative and you could be grieving in this current moment. And that's why you're staying to yourself. Um, you feel like you're alone. You feel like you're by yourself. This person that may have passed away could have been someone that was very close to you. Okay. Someone very, 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 very close to you that you probably would talk to about all your problems or issues, whatever the case is, or, you know, someone could be at a distance from you and you don't have that you know that um extra shoulder to cry on or that extra person to call whatever or someone could have moved away from you like literally like just moved to another state or city or something like that now you can't get to them like how you was able to get to them before but i feel like the current gossip on you is like love like love is very important to you self-love is important to you loving other people around you that deserves to be loved by you is very important to you let's see what else we have make these messages as clear as possible what's the current gossip on pile number one you are love, so you will always receive love, period. What's the current gossip on pile number one? We have peace, harmony, number 12, okay? What's the current gossip on pile number one? What's the current gossip on pile number one, okay? We also have here, I don't know how to pronounce that, but we have um abundance. What's the current gossip on pile number one? What's the current gossip on pile number one? And we also have here, um, number 41, lightning disruption. So I'm trying to tell you, like, we have question. So it could be the fact that maybe, I don't know why I feel like maybe I accident, maybe some, something, somebody, and please take what only take what resonates. If it does not resonate, 
Like, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Period. Somebody could have had, like, it, it could have been something, like, really close, very detrimental that happened to you. And, you know, you're grieving still. You're feeling hurt about it, you know? this That's this disruption that could have happened to you, you know? This lightning bolt. And you're just like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't expect that. You know what I'm saying? Like, some, like maybe a tower moment may have happened as of recently. But I do feel like a lot of abundance is coming in for you, okay? I'm feeling a lot, um, um, harmonious, peace, you know? Feeling at zen. Maybe some of you are smoking again. Like, those of you may have you may have stopped smoking now you're smoking again and uh, i mean weed weed that's what i'm talking about maybe you stopped smoking weed now you're smoking weed again to calm your nerves you know self-medication take that as it resonates but that's the current gossip on you my beautiful pal number one is all i have i hope that it resonated if it did let me know in the comment section i will catch you guys in the next one peace out hello my beautiful pal number two thank you guys so much for being here today's reading is going to be what is the current gossip on you i hope you all are doing very well and we're going to jump right on into this reading please make these messages as clear as possible what is the current gossip on pal number two i don't know if i said pal number one earlier if i did i apologize what's the current gossip on pal number two thank you guys for liking comment sharing and subscribing i appreciate all of the love What's the current gossip on pal number two? One, two, three. What's the current gossip on pal number two? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. Okay. We have number 14, temperance. Yo, these cards are so beautiful. That's Sagittarius energy. What's the current gossip on pal number two? What's the current gossip on pal, pal number two? We have the sun card. I was looking at that too. I'm like the sun right there. I was thinking that. So the sun card comes out. Leo energy. A lot of fire energy here. What's the current gossip on pal number two? We have Ten of Inspiration, so the Ten of Wands. What is the current gossip on pound number two? We have the Queen of Inspirations. I don't know what's going on. What's the... Oh, my gosh. Make these messages as clear as possible. What's the current gossip on pound number two? Current gossip on pound number two. We have number 21, the World Card. What is the current gossip on pound number two? And we have number 15, the Devil Card. Okay. We also have here number six, the lovers as the overall energy, Gemini energy. And we have Knight of Voices at the bottom of the deck. So the Knight of, um, what is it called? Damn. The Knight of Swords. Four of Emotions. Okay. So my beautiful pal number twos. I am definitely seeing like there's a sense of confidence here. That's the gossip on you, a, a sense of confidence. Um, With the Temperance card, maybe you have went to therapy. Maybe you are working on your temper. Um, maybe you're working on yourself, balancing out, balancing out, uh, you know, yeah, your temper, you, you know, being happy, being sad, your emotions, your feelings and things of that nature. That's the current gossip on you. I, I do see a sense of confidence here with the sun card. Cause we got, yeah. okay. Whoever picked pound number two, you're definitely confident. I feel like you're definitely someone that is very, um, you illuminate the room when you walk inside of the room. Um, I'm seeing happiness here and I feel like you're trusting the process. I feel like you're not a hundred percent where you need to be or where you want to be. Um, either mentally, physically, uh, to financially it could be a lot of different things where you're not where you want to be as of yet but i feel like you have this very huge positivity around you and that's the current gossip about you like you're not where you want to be you know you're making it you're almost there but it's like you still gotta wait a little bit longer you have to work a little bit harder you know what i mean that's the current gossip on you we have the ten of inspirations which would be the ten of wands i feel like um you could be someone that carries a lot of burdens with you or you know it, it looks like because with this ten of wands this is not like the rest of the ten of wands the other ten of wands it's they carry in all of it and you know you could tell like damn this is rough i gotta put this down but you have people other people carrying their own shit but i still feel like you monitor you monitor i said you monitorize you still monitor other people's problems you still call them like hey you good? Like, you you, you you still go out your way to make sure people are okay, make sure that they are all right, and, you know, make sure they, they, that they know they don't have to carry that burden by themselves, or as they are carrying the burden by themselves, they have a support system, you know? And I feel like that's the current gossip on you, that you are a fantastic support system. You're a really good friend. You're a really good family member, a lover, with the lover's card being here. Those of you that are in a um, committed relationship, or if you are in a connection, your person really does truly admire you, and they appreciate you, because they're able to talk to you about certain situations and problems and things like that where they don't have to carry that burden alone um you know you help them get through that burden you know you might not take on their problems but you'll definitely help them in some way shape or form if you can you know guide them in a way um with the queen of inspiration some of you could have been interested in pound number one you came from pound number one i feel like the current gossip on you is you know definitely stepping into your um 
I'm about to say divine feminine energy. Interesting. I, I, but I feel like you're stepping into your divine energy in general, you know? I feel like you have been very feeling very creative, very passionate. Maybe some of you have even um, the current gossip news that you look really good. Like, you got really sexy. Like, you know, the confidence is um, spewing out your, your pores. So, people are finding you even more attractive. Uh, you know what I mean? A lot more people are hitting you up. A lot more people are saying like, oh, yeah, you have you seen pound number two? Like, pound number two, this time, blah, blah, blah. Like, there's something about your energy that has changed, shifted in a much better direction because you're working on with this temperance card you're working on your energy you're working on your you know balancing out your emotions and feelings and things of that nature that's the current gossip on you with the world card being here i do feel like maybe some of you may have traveled you may have moved or you just like in a space where you just focusing on yourself and like the world is your oyster like you are creating your own reality for real for real you know you are enjoying the fruits of your labor you know I just feel like um, you are exuding, because we have the world card right underneath the sun card. You're exuding confidence, like, for real. <laughs> you are roaring. <laughs> People are seeing you as the, um, you know, the head honcho. I don't know. People are seeing you as the head honcho. You are very inspiring to a lot of people. I don't know if you went through something or if you had some type of something happening. You know, you're finally getting through that healing process and you're able to help other individuals or you know you're able to see the world in a different aspect or like I said you moved and now you have a different type of appreciation for certain things um because of the lessons that you learned from wherever you are from you know take that as it resonates as well but the um the devil card being here the current gossip on you is I feel like a lot of people are addicted to you a lot of people are thinking about you a lot of people are very like I said very much attracted to you um some people may have negative thoughts about you for sure um, some people may be very jealous of you as well, but I feel like the current gossip on you is that you're definitely like, you know, you're a rebel. That's what I'm getting here as well. Cause we all know that the devil is like a fallen angel. So I feel like, you know, that's you, you are a rebel. Like you still, a, <laughs> you know, you're still an earth angel, but you're definitely a rebel. Like you, you are taking your life into your own hands and doing what you feel is the best for you. With the lover's card being that, um, the overall energy for the reading, definitely feel like you are divinely protected, you know? You are definitely divinely protected. But like I said, you're very attractive, so you have a lot of people coming towards you. You have a lot of people interested in you. Um, and people come out the woodworks, too, and you're just like, where the fuck you came from? Like, I didn't even know that, what, you interested in me, baby? For real, for real? That's the current gossip on you is that, you know, I feel like you have become so attractive. And it doesn't have anything to do with your looks. It has everything to do with your energy. Your energy has become so attractive and magnetic that you have so many people that want to be with you and so many people that get addicted to you so quickly or want to talk to you and hit you up and be like, hey, how you doing? What you doing? And you just like, where the fuck did this energy come from? Like, where did this come from? It's because you're working on yourself. And once you, when you are working on yourself and you become more magnetic and you become more attractive, you know whatever no matter how 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 you feel about your looks you know what i'm saying it's all about the energy and what you exude and what you give off to people that's what makes people attracted to you that's what makes pe people want to be around you and things of that nature yeah um your energy okay your aura um yeah I feel like with the knight of voices which is the knight of swords at the bottom of the deck I feel like I, the best way that I could put it is the um, current gossip on you. That was a lot of stuttering. <laughs> stuttering. The current gossip on you is that you are no longer like, um, I feel like you, you still are spontaneous. Yeah. But I feel like you keep more to yourself now. I feel like you're not as outspoken as you was before because you know, sometimes us outspoken people, because I'm outspoken too sometimes. And I have to realize that everybody don't have the same type of skin that I got. Everybody don't have tough skin. Everybody don't got th thick skin. Everybody can't handle the truth or they can't handle the way that I'm giving out the truth, you know? So I feel like the current gossip on you is that you definitely have changed how you um, approach situations or how you com converse with pre people about their situations and stuff like that. That's why I said with the Ten of Inspirations, you're no longer carrying people's burdens, but you are helping them through their burdens, you know? But let's see what else we have. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What is the current gossip on my beautiful pal number two? What's the current gossip on pal number two? What's the current gossip on pound number two? What's the current gossip on pound number two? Sheesh. All right. So we have boundaries. That's, yeah, okay. That makes sense. You are setting and affirming healthy boundaries, not just for yourself, but for other people, you know? Because sometimes you can forget people's boundaries, especially when you're used to, like, 
you know, when you're used to a certain person or used to certain people, you know you feel like you're free to speak to people however you see fit. But everybody, like I said, does not have the same skin as you. Everybody can't handle the truth like how you can handle the truth, you know. Everybody's not going to give off the information like how you're giving off the information. So that's the current gossip on you is that you are respecting people's boundaries. You are respecting people's space and how they may take something. And, you know, you are thinking before you speak. Like, you always thought before you spoke, but you're thinking a little bit more... Um, you thinking a lot more because, you know, like I said, everybody can't handle the truth. And sometimes your truth is a little bit harsher than what other people can tolerate, basically. What is the current gossip on pound number two? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What's the current gossip on pound number two? What's the current gossip on pound number two? Thank you. We have peace. Mm -hmm. What's the current gossip on pound number two? And we have prosperity. That's beautiful. Bottom of the deck, we have passion. A lot of red here. A lot of red. Like I said, you're very attractive. Very magnetic in this current state of mind that you have going on here. With this piece, I feel like you're more at peace now because you're not carrying people's burdens. You're not trying to carry people's burden, burdens. And I feel like that's making you more pros um, have bring more prosperity into your life. I'm trying to tell you, when you shift your energy, change your energy and stuff like that, you have a lot of shit that starts to come towards you and you're just like, wow. So this is what happens when I shut the fuck up? Wow, this is what happens when I keep shit to myself? Wow, this is what happens when I allow people to walk out my life that want to walk out my life? Yes. What's the current gossip on pound number two? We have number 44, um, Firefly Wonder. What's the current gossip on pound number two? We also have here number two, Flamingo Fun. What's the current gossip on pound number two? And we also have number 29, um, Skull, and we have Endings. Okay, so bottom of the deck here, we have Crown Personal Power, number 28. That's beautiful. I like that card. So, I just feel like, um... With all these bright shining lights, you know, I feel like we all are intuitive, but you know, I feel like you're using your discernment more, period. And I feel like you have it more fun and you're not taking things so seriously. I feel like you could have been a very serious person, you know, very serious and very hard on yourself, very hard on other people. And you're just like, why are you not getting it? Why are you not this, that, and the third? Because people don't want to live their life in that, like that. Some people don't want to live in their truth, but you're living in yours now, you know? We have skull endings and you just, you know, like I said, allowing these endings to happen because endings bring new beginnings. But my beautiful pal number two is just all I have. I hope that it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, babies. Hello, my beautiful pal number three. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today's reading is going to be what is the current gossip on you? So we're going to hop right on into this reading. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. One last shuffle. What is the current gossip on pal number three? What is the current gossip on pound number three? What's the current gossip on pound number three? Keep messages as clear as possible. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have nine of voices, which would be the nine of swords. What's the current gossip on pound number three? Current gossip on pound number three. Wow. I don't even know if any of them fell. Okay, so I'm seeing here the current gossip on you that you may have a lot of, a lot of distractions, a lot of disruptions going on in your life. What's the current gossip on pound number three? Make these messages as clear as possible. To the point where I feel like with the nine of voices, which would be the nine of swords, you are in a state of de like depression, depression, maybe? Anxiety is kicking in. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We also have the ten of materials. What's the current gossip on pound number three? Page of inspiration. What's the current gossip on pound number three? Ten of pentacles, Virgo energy. The current gossip on pound number three. The current gossip 
one for number three. Sunglasses glass one for number three. We have the Lovers card. What's the current glass one pound number three? You have the Magician. What's the current glass one pound number three? Current glass one pound number three. And we have the Nine of Inspirations, the Nine of Wands. And we also have here the Muse of Emotions. What the hell is that? That's beautiful. Look at this card. Wow. Ooh. Bottom of the deck is the three of voices, the three of swords, the five of voices, the five of swords. Interesting. The current gossip on you is, first of all, okay, you right now are working through a blockage. You are working through a blockage is what I'm seeing here. You are removing some type of negative energy. This got to go like this beautiful ass card um you are either your toughest critic or people criticizing you make you feel some type of way you could be someone that is very sensitive okay that's the current gossip on you somebody it may be a family member with the ten of pentacles being here the ten of materials it could be someone that is close to you that thinks that you are very sensitive i feel like you are trying to work through some type of pain some type of hurt maybe a breakup with the three of swords three of voices at the bottom of the deck you are working through something and i feel like the current gossip on you is that people are seeing how you are putting your walls up i feel like you are someone that's definitely protected with the lovers card being here you have people that love you you are love so you always receive love um that's the energy that you give off a very loving energy so people just love you because of how your energy feels um but nonetheless i do feel like because we have the nine of voices and then the nine of inspiration nine of swords nine of wands and then the reading so it's just like hmm. and muse of emotions i feel like you're trying to control your emotions get like not control your emotions but trying not to let things around you bother you and i feel like it's mostly family with the ten of pentacles being here i feel like it's family Okay, that's the current gossip on you that you're not allowing people to, you're trying not to, should I say, allow family members to get on your nerves about things that they may feel and how they feel like how you live in your life or how you making money or whatever the case is or whatever you may be doing. It could be something that is not very conventional to everybody, you know, you could be doing something that's very unconventional to everybody, something different something that makes you happy but other people don't like it so it's just first of all that's confusing as fuck because how you telling me how i live my life is wrong but how you live your life is perfectly fine because you choose to be like everybody else or you choose to be like a sheep and i want to be a black sheep like whatever you're doing is something that you chose to do at any point in time you can stop doing it but you don't want to okay because this could be something that makes you a lot of money or this could be something where you know makes you a lot of money your family is good like you're happy you know what i mean like you're happy but the magician card being underneath the ten of materials ten of pentacles i feel like for your sanity you keep things to yourself you keep things to yourself like with the page of inspirations like when you first start doing something or when you're doing something new that's that's another thing too you could be doing something new doing something like a new job or a new type of business endeavor could be some type of sex work some of you could have started only fans or you know you said you sell foot pics like it, it could be a lot of different shit that you do or it could be the fact that your family excuse me your family thinks that you do that because you're so closed off and how you have your walls built up <clears throat> i feel like it's how you maintain yourself and how you take care of yourself and that's why your family thinks that maybe you're doing sex work or maybe you're doing something where like you're a sugar baby or you know like you you or a stripper you know take that as it resonates cause i know i know i don't think there's anything wrong with making a dollar as long as you are safe you are protected and you are happy doing whatever you're doing who gives a fuck what anybody thinks you know if you have a solid foundation and you're doing well for yourself nobody else, nobody's opinion should ever matter 
I feel like you definitely um have your walls very high up. Because like I said, we have a muse of emotions. I feel like you're someone that's very sensitive. I think you're very sensitive. You know, your feelings can get hurt really fast. So you could be someone that, um, because you are so emotional and because you're feeling like how you're feeling, you are easy and it's quick for you to hurt someone else's feelings. Um, or you could be someone that you you don't you don't show your feelings. You hide your feelings. You hide your feelings and emotions. But the magician card, you definitely are um, creating your own reality. And you do whatever makes you happy, as you should. What's the current gossip on pound number three? Make these messages as clear as possible, please, universe. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have prosperity. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have peace. What's the current gossip on pound number three? And we have closure. So it's like, bottom of the deck, we have transformation. You could have changed a whole lot. Whatever the situation is, it's bringing you prosperity. It's bringing you money. It's bringing you abundance. It's making you happy. You are at peace with what you're doing. And I feel like we have closure. You're closing the door on a lot of people. And I feel like that's the current gossip on you is how much you're staying to yourself with the closure and nine of inspirations, which is the nine of wands. You have your guards all the way up. You don't let people in. You know, and you okay with having closure with people. Like you don't I don't feel like you need anybody to be like, oh yeah, pound number three, we're not talking anymore, we're not friends, we're not cool. It's like if people are giving you the cold shoulder, if people are rubbing you the, the wrong way, you're just like, All right, we we can close this chapter right now. Maybe in the future we could open the door, maybe later on in life we could open the door and link up and chill or whatever the case is. Because it don't make no sense however you may be living your life and it doesn't have to be sex work, of course. Like it doesn't have to be your only fans, it doesn't have to be you being a stripper or selling foot pics or anything sexualized. But it could be something where people enjoy looking at you, people enjoy watching you, people like hearing your voice. It's something like I said, it could be very unconventional to your family. You could have a very traditional family. You know, so whatever you're doing to make money is just like, damn, you're doing that. And that's not how we raised you. Or that's not what you was raised around. But people have to understand times is a changing. <laughs> times is a changing. You got to make change. And it's easy to make money off the internet. It's easy to make money in general these days, you know. And I feel like the current gossip on you is that I feel like you could be closing, you could be walking away from like belief systems or, you know, um, how you was raised, like childhood uh, trauma or whatever the case is. Like you walking away from certain things, like you putting your guard up and you just leaving it. You know, you're not letting everybody get through your pearling gates. You understand? You're not letting, you're not allowing everybody into your mindset or your energy and things of that nature. Let me see what else we have. What's the current gossip on pound number three? What's the current gossip on pound number three? Make these messages as clear as possible. Too many cards. What's the current gossip on pound number three, universe? What I'm trying to tell you, you're making money, okay? If you're not making money right now, you eventually will. Whatever you're doing, because I feel like you're passionate about it. And, you know, it kind of bothers you that people feel like however they feel about what you do. Because you're happy with what you're doing. So that's the only thing that ever will matter, okay? What's the current gossip on pound number three? What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have water, surrender. Mm -hmm. What's the current gossip on pound number three? And we also have number 21, Recycle, Recover. So I just feel like you're being very transparent about what you're doing. We have number eight, Love and Heart. Like I said, you are love, so you will always receive love with the lover's card being here. Um, I just want to say that I feel like with the water card, Surrender, you being very transparent about who you are and you showing your true colors. And it's like, if people can't respect that, you know, we have Recycle, um, Recover. Like I said, if <laughs> whenever they're ready to come and talk to you, that door's going to be open. I feel like you're not one of those people. You don't hold grudges. You know, you don't hold grudges, but you don't want to have to keep explaining yourself. You don't want to have to keep saying, this is why I'm doing this. This is why I'm doing that. You're doing whatever you're doing because that's what the fuck you want to do. But my beautiful pal number threes, that's all I have for you. I hope that it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I will catch you guys in the next one. Later, my beautiful babies.